Yes, ma'am, it's visible. Oh, thank you. Yeah, now my camera is invisible as of now, but Sanjay and Sanjay will come. We'll figure that out. Okay, two cameras thing. Okay, dusa camera apko to nahi aata na. Aam karna. Aam mujhse ek hi hota hai. Okay, so um, today's session is all about. You can see page number one 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 zero one. Uh, Rahul, any guesses? What is this? I mean, what are we doing? Uh, anything you know about this? Oh, analogies are basically similarities between two things. Okay, and what do you think? Okay. Present okay. 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 so, and uh, Rahul says it's kind of a similar thing, similar words, more or less you guys are saying the same thing. Okay. And Agrima, any idea what do you think? Uh, Ma'am, along the similar lines, I also think that uh, it's an example of like, it's an extension of symbolism uh, because a s object may signify a certain thing like, I mean, you could take anything like the color of the sky or something could indicate the mood and that could, I think, be considered an verbal analogy. Okay, so um, what I can figure out from your any anything you want to put in? Okay, what I can figure out from your understanding from all of you, like all four of you. So here you guys are talking in terms of the relationship, right? That is one thing is dependent on other, or we have to identify the relationship in, in the sentences. So that would be our job over here to do it. Okay, so our strategy would be very simple. See, everyone says that you need to have strong vocabulary. That is something which is, if it's there, it's there. If it's not, it's not there. All right? It's not something which can be built in within a month or something. It's a long-term process. So, but yes, we'll work on it. Okay, we'll be more words and all these things. However, we'll figure out the relationship in the sentences. Because anyway, we have to figure that exactly. Even if you don't have a strong vocabulary. All right? So that's our target today. So how exactly we have to improve the score. Okay. So you can see over here, the first, very first thing which I written over here, that what are these? So over here, they're saying the same thing, that is a similarity between your two different uh, events, but more or less they are the similar events and all these things. And one pair of words with another pair of words, you're drawing a similarity. So you can just write down in your notebooks that during exams, it's helpful for you, that what are these, uh, but you can't see the board also, right, you guys? No, ma'am. This is too much. Oh, sorry, this is Okay, you can only see the word file, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay, fine. Uh, anyways, I was writing the same thing in the, uh, I'll just read out for you. I'll figure out this board thing in some time. So basically what you have to do is you have to just write the heading verbal. Okay, and you can also switch on your cameras, please. Uh, Rahul Aglima. Animal Sneha. <laughs> Thank you. So just um, have to write this in verbal things. So you can just write this keyword over there by star mark. That's basically a similarity. Just write down the word similarity. And uh, 
Similarity in the bracket, you can write down similar events. And you can also write down or a pair of words, slash pair of words. Okay, so this is something which you can write down. And um, how to improve your score? You don't need to write everything. This is just something very basic thing that is strong vocabulary. Okay, what is important over here is uh, secondary meaning. You remember in the last class, uh, last last session, I told, told you about the primary and the secondary word. Remember, what are these primary and secondary? What did I tell you? Anything which you can remember? In the context of the sentence, exactly. What Satvika mentioned is that the secondary meaning is basically about the context. Primary, everyone understands basic, whatever is being shown. Context is which we need to figure out. The same strategy over here that you basically need to decode the context of the um, word over here in this. So you can see, for example, school of fish also means group of fish. It's the context. It's not only about school of fish. You can also see it's a group of fish. So it's just an example. So you can see over here, you can write down the strategy over here. Strategy, write down in your notebook. Decode the context. Why I'm using the word context? Because you may forget what is primary and secondary meaning. So that's why I'm just said, telling you, decode the context. Context will always remember. Then context will figure out. Decode the context. And second thing which you need to do to strategize is your relationship. So you can also see this over here. Different types of relationship will figure out. Okay, what are the different types of relationship you will have between the words? Okay, first word is a tool for the second. Can anyone guess what is this? Rapu Lagrima Sneha, anyone? What is what does we mean? Uh, what do we mean by this first word is a tool for the second? Uh, means by using the first or you can uh, guess the meaning of the other, you can determine the relationship basically. Exactly. Got it? Like if I have three words over there, there, it's absolutely okay if you don't know all the meanings. Okay, because there will be one difficult word. So at least if you know the first one, you can find out the second. So that's one of the things. So it becomes easier. So over here you can see types, that is your secondary meaning base and your primary meaning base. Who will answer you? What is primary meaning based? Basic context. context, awesome, clear. Okay, so here you can see, um, you can just write down under the strategy only second bullet mark. Okay, whatever you wrote, decode the context. Second would be first word is a tool for second. First word is the tool for second. Okay, Aditya Pahi. Aditya, can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, Aditya Pahi. Uh, yeah, others were already there. Okay, we are uh, doing session number eight. Uh, yes, Oh, where? This? Yeah, but what Next next? Yeah, this? Oh, okay. Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> but both thing? <laughs> so I don't understand. So many times I asked. I think two things I can't share together. So uh, over here, so the second, so Aditya and Pahi, what we have started is that uh, we are trying to find out the strategy. Okay, so that is we are um, trying to figure out that how we know the context <coughs> to understand these, to similarity. <coughs> One is the context. Second is the first word. If you know the meaning of first word, you can identify the meaning of the second word. Okay, that's some of the strategies we have listed down, Aditya, so far. 
Aditya, do you have any idea about this uh, session? What are these and all? What are and sorry, I didn't get the last. Uh, do you have any idea about this session? Have we done the session eight earlier? Yes, ma'am. Okay, then in that case you can cover up. And Pahi, how about you? Okay, so over here you can see the types. That is the dictionary, of course, the uh, face value, what you said it, the basic meaning, and of course, the second meaning, that is which you'd have to find the context. So you can see over here, list. So what is this? P is a defining characteristic of Q, example, courage. Courage is a defining characteristic of hero. What does this mean? Any idea? What, what do they mean by this? Uh, a hero has courage. Courage is what makes one person a hero. Okay. And what is P is a defining characteristic of Q? Uh, P is a factor that just starts with uh, basically actually defining that idea. For example, without courage, it does not make sense. Okay. Then what is the second one? <clears throat> Lack of P is a defining characteristic of Q. Hope, pessimism. What do they mean? Do they literally mean a literal thing over here or they are trying to make a metaphoric over here? What are they trying to do? Rahul, any idea? Agrima, Aditya? Uh, they, they're basically saying that like lack of hope is leads to pessimism. Pessimism is uh, always looking on the negative side. Yes. More or less what you said, right? And X is a type of Y. What does this mean, uh, Aditya? Category. Yeah, tell me the category. Can be anything. For example, uh, cauliflower is a type of vegetable. Yes. So over here, uh, this is what we have to do in this. Actually, Aditya just said it, nailed it over here. So basically, we are just identifying the relationship. Okay, relationship, what he said is, if, if you are talking about a vegetable over there, so you see a vegetable, that's a pear over here. You talk about hope, so it's it's automatically your pessimism, which you are talking about, your anger, your courage. So this kind of relationship we have to draw in your exams. That's all. Okay, it's pretty simple. You would be able to identify because you also need to identify some odd one outs in the exam, which you will be able to do it if you know these basic things. Okay, so it's usually not very tough. Okay, example over here, just uh, giving you a quick glance to it. A letter is a part of an alphabet. You can see a clinic is a place for nurse. Relationship of degree. You also need to see a degree over here. Okay, like for example, a mountain is as large as hill, is a large hill. Okay, or is as large as the quote would be correct. Okay, so, and tools used by pro professionals over here. You can see a tool, tool is exactly what you're using, a, what, a, what if a surgeon uses what. Okay, so that kind of tool you need to identify. You can also identify this trembling thing that is a sign of fear. Okay, sequence, like engagement, then marriage, and after engagement, then marriage comes in, so that also. And uh, the other one is your uh, bravery thing. Right. So what I'm trying to say over here is in short, I'm just trying to say that your relationship will not be only in one context. Your relationship might be in the form of a sequence. Your might, relationship might be in the form of, a, you know, a part of a thing or it might be metaphoric also. OK, so do not always go literal in your terms. OK, you also if if it's not working out, if it's literally part is not working out, then you may apply the metaphoric sense. Of it. That's all. Are we clear? Pretty simple. Pahi, are you clear? Agrima, Rahul? Aditya? Yes. Hello, I'm, am I audible? Yeah, of course you are audible. Can you also switch on your camera? Yes, yes, ma'am. Sorry, there was an audio issue, so I was fixing it. No problem. Pahi, till here, everything is clear? Yes. Okay. So this is what um, it was all about. And you can see your, um, we also have, do, you must be knowing about the similar words, synonyms. We have done this, remember? Synonyms and homonyms, your uh, 
uh, antonyms and all these things. So that is also, this is also, um, this will also include this. Okay, so whatever you did earlier. So we can quickly see those. This will be a very, um, you know, you'll be able to score very well in this part of exam. Something easy, but you need to be a little careful when you're doing it. So you can see over here, first type one, page number 101. Let's quickly discuss. If there's any doubt, we can cover it up. Okay, whenever you do an extemp code, what do you do? Are, are you, um, do you prepare something? Or what do you do? Extempo means what? Uh, we usually use the time to uh, correct our points, right? That is the time to So that's improper. Yeah. So over here, you see the first word, page number 101. Can you see type one? And you can also see um, which one do you think are the antonyms over here? Find out the antonyms. Let's not go with simple things. Rahul, Agrima. Aditya, Pahi, 101. Can you see type the Depressed one? and ecstatic is... Perfect. Um, That's one. Second one. Quickly find out. Oh, modern and antiquated. Yes. Opposites. Okay, type two. Quickly. Uh, which is the first one? Diligent and hardworking. Let's see who answers first. Diligent, hardworking is what? Uh, synonyms. Very good. Perplexing and explicable. Think about it. Come on. Anyone? Uh, is it a antonym? Yes, it is. Perfect. Come to question number three. Type three. Uh, find out two synonyms. Uh, no, tell me. Uh, let's go with a difficult one. Part C. Part C, one and is it S or A? Type three, C. Is it synonym? Is it synonym or antonym? Yes, it will be similar. And the part D, guys, online, Aditya, Rahul, Agrima, Pahi. That is a synonym, oh, virtuous and wholesome. Perfect, perfect. Okay, come to type four, part of whole. Um, do you think so part C is related? Part C are related? Part C and D, I mean. Are you sure? Or not related? Let's figure out. It's okay, your answer is not sure. Yeah. Oh, they're not. Related. I'm sorry, uh, Rahul, what did you say? You're asking for C and symphony and dictator, right? Yes. Yeah, they both are not related. Not related. And how about the D? That like too. They, uh, they have the positive That's not necessary thing, <laughs> right? It's not that everyone has to be like that yeah. type of thing. So it's not perfect. Okay, actor to action, type five. Um, tell me about part D. It's a part of the part of the spot. Okay. And act, this is basically about actor to action. Mm -hmm. So you have to identify which one is correct. You understand the actor to action? What I did and it led to that something. Okay. Um, oh, is direction is to orient wrong? Yeah. Mm, yeah. Because all the others are like arbitrator, mechanic, law, musician, or a person. Mm -hmm. But uh, you may consider a lawyer. Can you? But yes, what you're saying is not something that this is the only job of a lawyer. That way, do you mean, Rahul? Oh, uh, yeah. That's not the only job. Okay. Why is A not the answer? Yes. Okay. 
can consider. We can consider. Yeah. And how would this type six cause an effect? Do you think so? Itch is a uh, effect of a scratch. A scratch is effect of itch. Scratch is effect of itch, isn't it? Uh, not necessary, right? No, no, not necessary. Not in all cases. Not in all cases. Yes, itch. Uh, yes. Not all cases, but if you're talking about cosmetic, then it's not always have to tremble because of fear. That's why. No, no, no. Not every cause infection, of course, it can be all the time. Right? Yeah. Actually, but, oh, use scratch when you itch. So it should be scratches to it. Yes. Yeah, what you're saying, uh, Rahul, that's what you were talking about. It's because of the itch. No, 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 my yeah. dear. It's right. What you said, that, that was also the same thing. You also said the same thing, right? Yes, you guys are correct, what you said. It. Option C, that is, even though it's... Uh, yes. Yeah, so we are considering option C, even though it's a cause and effect, since it's a little reverse order. Okay, so that means you have to consider. Uh, Pahi, are you getting it? Huh? I hope I'm not too fast. Uh, Sneha? Yes, ma'am. Sneha, you are understanding, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, let me know, please. Uh, member and class, how about this one? The seat. What do you think about C? Because sonnets, that's how it's been written. And then it becomes a kind of a poem. And what about de uh, definition over here? Type 8. See, um, how about this uh, C? Do you think so? C is right? Anyone? Writer, oh. publication. Writer leads to publication. When a writer writes, it generally leads to publication, but. Not exactly the definition. He does not, yeah, he does not himself publish. Correct. And how about the general and soldier? No, no. Okay. That's not from general, you don't go to science soldier. Soldier, you know, we may, may not. Okay, so part, uh, which one do you guys? Um... Uh, uh, the option B. B? Self denial. Okay. I think it I, makes sense. Okay, let's see the type nine also. Function. How about this one? A neurological brain. For the two screen thing. They can't see this. Every day I can't take it to only one. Function over here, okay. Uh, Pahi is present. Uh, please, ma'am. Pahi, Rahul, Sneha, Agrima, Aditya, Sneha, Rahul, Agrima, Aditya, Pahi. Yeah, that's it. Online, I'll show you guys. Sorry. She, the other one, she has an exam. So different. Different. Okay, function. Guys, what about this neurological brain? What do you think about this? Oh, ma'am, option. Like, I'm saying option D. Option D. Who answered? Rahul. Is... Okay, Rahul said option D. Sneha, how about you? I'm D only. D? Okay, and Pahi? D. D. 
Can you guys see this board, right? The board they have, but not the board. You can see that, right? Okay. Um, okay, so part D, type 10, symbol and representation. Which one do you think? Symbol and it goes as a representation. How about it's light darkness? Uh, isn't that the opposite? Yeah. And uh, uh, then which one do you think is a symbol? Olive branch. Olive branch, Olive branch is what? Oh, peace. And peace. Uh, Makes sense. What do you guys are saying? Makes sense. Yeah. Type 11. Characteristics over here. Stable is a horse, while that a fire station is a fire engine. Manner. See, it's just examples. Whatever we did just now for word files, so this is just a way to understand that you know you might not get confused in examples. These are possible things. Can be okay, manner over here. You um, so they talk about in terms of the singing, and they also talk in terms of the walking, the manner of walking. Type 13. Articles made by worker. Artist has done what? Painting, very good. And carpenter has done table. So that is also a link. Worker and his tools. Artist, you are linking it with a paintbrush. Then your worker and his task. Teacher is teaches. And type 16, you can see. The worker in the workplace. That is your teller bank. The teller works in the bank. You know, you have tellers over there. And you can also see tool and the object. Hammer, nail. Type 19, you can see actions and the significance. The smile gives pleasure, you know, and your sequence, beginning, end, opening, closing, gender, prince, princess, okay, your age, and your, that is what we have already done. Any doubt? Will you all be able to figure out in your exams? It's pretty easy. Yeah. Okay, so those are the things which we have done. Now what we can do is we can get back to our practice exercise. And there has to be some time limit. Okay. And we'll work today with time. I'll show you the time limit right now. One second. Okay, so for time limit, we are having 20 questions. Okay, 20 questions. So in a way, you will be taking 30 seconds. Thank you. 30 seconds each maximum. So that those 20 questions would be 10 minutes. So your time starts now, 10.30 to 10.40. Ma'am, uh, I have completed. Aditya, you've already completed? Ma'am, same. Same, Pai? Ma'am, Sneha. Sneha. Sneha, do you have your answers marked with pen over there? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay. So, are you very confident that you know all the answers? Um, I'll do it again. Oh. Yeah, we need to be a little honest because uh, I have got one textbook, but uh, the questions are more or less same than like another publisher. Aditya, what I'll do is, you do this today. What I'll do is I'll figure out some questions. As a test, I'll give you from other publications. I've taken some books. Okay, I've taken from library. So let me find out some questions. And I'll give it to you guys. And we'll work it as a taste test total thing once we finish all these sessions. Will that work for you, Aditya? Say, huh? Aditya? 
Sure. Will that be okay for you? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so today let's finish this. Let's have a grip on this and let me bring that. On Wednesday. Wednesday, I'll go.
Agrima Bahi, you are completed. Uh, yes, ma'am. We have three more minutes, okay? If you're done, I'm in for discussion. Just update me, guys. You just have to do I one exercise, one. right? Yeah, exercise oh. one. Okay. 20 questions. Yes, Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So let's just identify the relationship over here. Rahul, switch on your camera. Pahi. Pahi, you just need to turn your camera away. We can't see you properly. And stay now. Okay, over here, saturated and wet is a what type of relationship is this? Synonyms huh? like similar, similar, or one leads to the other. One leads to the other, right? And uh, so you know that it was a game. Yeah, but it is not from the other one. So the other side is causing the problem. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh, I went for option A because all three are not correct. Yes, because you need to figure out. You might have figured out with the translating the odd options. Okay. What's the answer? A. And third one. What is the relation? Oh, Ch like child. Okay. So, what is the right option? Aditya, are you there? Yes, ma'am. Can you repeat the question, please? Tell me the right option for question number three. Who's option B? Okay. And what is the relation in question number four? Unhappy and miserable? Synonyms. Okay. Intensity. Uh, okay. So, question number four, which is the right uh, synonym over here? Option D. Okay. D. Option D. Yes, I agree with you. Option D. And fifth one, what is the relationship? Agrima? East Oriental? Uh, Oriental uh, is usually referred to as countries of the East. So that's why. I think the option should be A, that's West, that's the Occidental means countries of the West. So you think it's a part of a whole? Um, yeah, you can say, but like Oriental itself means the East, I think. I mean, it's not like a specific country in the East, uh, it's just like East. Like. So what place should be where I if I was I think symbolism kind of because like um, ori oriental signify is a symbol symbolizes I, the e. I, yes, it makes sense. Yes, question number six. Uh, Pahi? Yes, mom. It's showing the type of animal it is. Okay. So I went with the option C because that okay. seems to correct. Uh, words are actually not mammals, bird or apes. Yes. Words are not words are not mammals, they are apes, A V E S. Actually, words and apes mean the same, right? I mean, they're both is this apes is a scientific name, but then birds itself is the class. But you can't actually include birds and mammals, right? Yeah, obviously they're two different classes, so that's not mammals the do not lay eggs and birds do. Yeah, so they're different class, like the different classes. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Question number eight. Which category would uh, fix this in? Synonyms. Okay. Question number eight, which is the right answer as for you guys? Deadly, the supernicious. Okay, that's A1. Okay, C. Question number nine. Sorry, scale tone relationship measurement. Okay, and uh, so as for you guys, what is the answer? C. Very Spectrum. good. Spectrum. And author manuscript relationship. I thought oh, an author works with a um, manuscript with the help of. Okay, so that's because they is in terms of the work that is, uh, and so with the, if you talk in terms of the word, work and work, 
How can the work work? So then, I, like that, I guess I agree with you. But said architect will need will first draw. But ma'am, uh, why does an author require a manuscript? Like, isn't an archaeologist who requires manuscripts? Yes, what Sapita is saying, see, whatever the authors are, let's say if you're talking in terms of historical terms, because many of them could be historical. Okay, so an historian, whenever a historian writes something, so he may look for sources. So manuscript is considered as one of the sources for him. So what he was saying, uh, Rahul, uh, I don't, we don't mean in terms of the author writes a manuscript. We are saying that author uses the manuscript to write his further thing. So uh, uh, manuscript is a source to draw something. Yeah, ma'am, what you're saying is right, but isn't that the job of an historian, not an author? I think Rahul, what the question is referring to manuscript here means a draft of a novel. So when you write the first draft of the novel, it's called a manuscript. In that sense. Yeah, that could be. So when you're writing a novel or a novella, the first draft you prepare is called a manuscript. Uh, yes, because if you only don't uh, Rahul, if I if you go by my example, yes, it's storage that be the right. So if you go by Satyukas and Altin's example, yes, they make sense in terms of the novel. So you go with their example. Yes, that's why we use architect as a blueprint as a source. So question number 11, pencil and graphite. What is this? Uh, what is the relationship? Yeah, so give me the relationship. Comprises of quotes. And then pen and graphite. Right. Question number 12. Agriva, question number 12. Uh, you want the relationship or the answer? The answer is simple. Relationship. Okay. It's a uh, unit for measurement. That's not exactly a relationship, but yeah. Okay. So what would be the answer then? The, because uh, the second word is the unit of measurement for the first word. Okay, that is your part. Okay. And question number 13, Sneha, relationship? Mom. Come on, Sneha, what do you think? Any guesses? Mom, I know the answer. Okay. Word right relationship. Uh, like the misogynist is related to women. So. See, uh, Sneha, I'm not saying that your answer is wrong, okay? And I'm sure you must use your mind, but what, uh, what I'm trying to make you guys understand is that in your exam, you'll find many relationships similar. If I say teacher and classroom, you can always relate teacher and classroom. Right? If I don't have an example, you can always uh, relate musician and composition also. So your answer will only depend on your relationship. So you really need to, that's your first primary job to do right now. Okay, so try and identify the relationship over here. Uh, what do you think, Satvika, what kind of relationship? Your answer is correct, Sneha. I think it is sort of agnostic towards aspects because it goes to move things, gives himself denial, denies himself of uh, good things, right? Actually, means they think that it's nice himself. Okay. So, uh, if we're talking in terms of actual then I'd say that was from history. That's a lot of people. Okay, Satvika says part B in terms of actual uh, What about other people? What do you think? Um, I think it's about a person and what they hate. Okay. okay. The object of their hatred. Okay. Yes. And so in that way, sir, Sneha's answer would uh, suffice them, isn't it? If we go with that, this logic. Okay. Uh, question number 14. Rahul, question number 14, what's the relationship? Oh, 
<laughs> so basically like antonym or kind of like the way of solving something you wanted a mystery okay and pavi what is the answer then question of kuti ma'am a deactivate more good 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 15 stable and horse relationship guys come on agrima it's where you uh, house the specific animal so um answer should be b so okay adish says b and even agrima says b okay uh, that's right question number 16 change so over your what's the relationship start is to do it okay relation oh you extract it with basically um okay okay relation and so question number 17 what are we doing with what are we doing with which option oh. are okay right okay rahul you get the answer Uh, it could be either B or A, uproot the stump or cut a nail. But uh, I think it should be uproot the stump because nail is not necessarily always to be cut. Yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, Bahi. Mum, it's like the characteristic. Okay. Yes, it's being considered. Yeah, that way. Especially when eighteen, what's the right answer as to you? No, I went for option B. I didn't have. Other thing, nineteen and twenty. Come on. Mum, noun and verb. Okay, which is the right answer as to you? And a circular motion also for ninety, so it's A. Oh, it's okay. Question number twenty. Uh, damage to the noun and is the verb. So option C. Option C. Okay. Any doubts till you? I be all uh, got a grip to the relationship. If we are wrong with the primary meaning relation. We won't be able to figure out the answer, no matter what. It'll be all confused. Okay, because three answers would be correct in one option, in one question. So relation is most important. So twenty questions again. We really need to speed up. We are odd men out also. We have to finish in this class only till twelve. Twelve o'clock. Okay, come on, guys. Let's speed up now. Don't take twenty ten minutes. Take eight minutes. Come on, your time starts now. Eleven to eleven eight.
Mas não é nada mesmo. Se tiver um livro de áreas como as dicas. Espere não.
Next one. Party, Rahul, shall start the discussion? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I want to finish everything in the class. So, um, I think, uh, how can you tell me? Let me ask you people are you guys comfortable with the relationship and do you want to discuss the relationships in the class? What's your Rahul, Aditya, Agrima, tell me how you guys want it for this, this exercise. No, anything works. Anything works. A party, any specific thing? Do you guys think we should just pick up the difficult ones and discuss the relationship and the easy ones again between the answers at the same time? Yeah? Does it work for you all? Yeah. Okay, so first one is easy, that's gun trigger. So which is the correct option as for you guys? Lamp switch. Maxi. Wrist watch, question number two. Come on, add it there. I'll name the people who give me the correct answer, to give you the correct answer. Add it there. Next chain. <laughs> Next chain. Pahi, blacksmith, hammer. I guess option A. Okay, um, carpenter. I so okay. But what's the I, I think the party did not identify the current relationship over here. See, carpenter is so no, it's fine. Carpenter, the one, yeah, yeah, she's fine. Makes sense. Okay, question number four. Um, Rahul. Scribble, write, stammer? Speak. Speak. Adesh give the answer before that. Okay, Rahul, yours is question number five. Question number five, Pivi? Mold skin. Mold skin. Okay, Satvika, question number six. Junction highways. Junction highways. Perfect. Um, Sneha, question number seven. Mom, the relationship or the answer? Answer, the easy ones. Answer. B, B. Chat, Chat talk. talk. Okay. Adesh. Question number eight. Drop cloth, furniture. Perfect. Apparent clothing. Okay. Rahul, question number nine. Relationship, Rahul. Oh. Antonym. A kind of. Okay, so which is the um, correct answer over here? Oh, embryonic maturity. Okay, question number 10. Okay. Uh, the thing, question number 10, relationship. A description of the, the second word is the first one. Description. Like this okay, and which is the answer as for you? And I couldn't figure this out. It cannot be, see, let's find out the odd ones. It cannot be mentally pain. It cannot be humble belief. And I can't read be any of the four because all of them seem. Does it amorphous please lack of shape? Yes. Uh, because uh, what Satvika is saying, see this uh, humble belief cannot be there because she's talking in terms of the lacking. I have to say, but you start seeing the answer only because A, B, A, B, D doesn't fit. To be very honest with you. Because otherwise, it's very hard to identify first place. Okay, so we'll go with B, C only because 3 doesn't fit us. Fit us. Okay. Mom, isn't it like easy to determine the relationship to its like oh, antonym, basically? Amorphous means no shape. 
what this is what that because it's terrible, but something is not give us a name. Yeah, yeah. I'll just be black of shit. Black of shit. Yes, Rahul. You who as you said this. Yeah. Sakika and Rahul both are correct. Question number 11. Freeze cyclone, no relationship required. Easy. Brazil? Adish. Okay, question number 12. C, anger. Fidget. Adish, yes. Fidgeting. Yeah, Adish, yes. Okay. Question number 13. Are there relationship? Uh, a person with the main characteristic. I think the answer is option C. C is it an infinitism. What is the answer? Okay, question for Cody. Subtle and uh, Agriva, question for Cody, as for you, what's the answer? It's D. In, in okay. Hint given and in that question. Okay. Question for 15, group, Cody is D. Yeah. Us. Uh, Rahul, question number 15. Relationship? Oh, part of something. Part of something. Okay, group river. And uh, what would the answer as for you? Uh, path is to highway. Yes, path is to highway. Okay. Aditya, question number 16. Relationship? Noun action. Okay, and as for you, answer? B. Sajita, question is 17. Okay, uh, for question 17, tally goats. So, what is the relationship? Let's find out the relationship. Answer D should be on the basis of that many votes make a tally. Many votes make tally, yes. Yeah, if that is on the like a literal political. Ah, uh, correct. If I reverse, it's like a reverse order. Remember, we did an example order. So it's like a reverse order, guys. That's what you guys mean. 
Yes, it's kind of an order what is going to the reverse team. So if I go with the reverse, of, if I try to reverse this, that leads T. So it will fit. If I try to reverse this, it may not fit. And the government is not only about loss. That means, okay, otherwise, I will not work. Question number 18 relationship. But if you think in the sense of noun and uh, verb, okay. so you, a noun, you get a tally of votes and a census of the population. Uh, Arita, similarly, you could also say now that team is team of athletes. Yeah, but that is a collective non single noun. Here I am singling out a tally of votes and a census of the population. So, verb and the noun. That's all. This is open to things, however, you can. It's just uh, intensity. It is lighter or it is more heavier. The stipend is just for the day. That is the calculation which you can keep your eye out. Let's discuss. Where the increment wasn't there. Can you all hear me now? Aditya, Rahul, Akima? 
Yes. Okay, question number 20, we need to uh, discuss again. 18 is pretty clear, I guess. Part B is the answer, constellation star. Question number 19. Are we clear with question number 19? What is the answer? A. Okay, question number 20. Let's find out the relationship in question number 20, guys. Synonyms. Is the same. Okay. And both so, means uh, reprimand. I'm sorry. Both both have the same meaning, reprimand. Yeah. And uh, so what is the right answer as to you? Uh ma'am, I got option D because all three options do not mean the same thing. A first three. A doesn't mean the same thing. C doesn't mean the same thing. Now the answer comes between the B and D. If you look yeah. at the Guys, um, because provoke is also what um, yeah, no, 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 um, I was trying to recall the name. <laughs> 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 so I was just trying to, um, so Sakrika is saying that provoke and is creating. Yes, answer should be like that. See, because if it is intensity, then the particular means is smaller, so minus should be so yeah, yeah. 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 Agrima, Paki, Rahul, Aditya, Neha. No, I need to find them. Do you want a two minutes break? Yes or no? Oh, I just see. Yes. Why do you want it? Okay. So it's 11 20. Oh. Come back in 11, two, three minutes. Okay. Go have water. Switch off the cameras. Go have water and come back. <laughs> Ma'am. Yes, please. Ma'am, I had a uh, request for you from the yes. next class uh, tomorrow. Could you prepare uh, some worksheets for all of us to solve? On the topic. Worksheets like uh, our first year teacher of the English class, Ma'am. Yes, Ma'am. Yes, she teaches us and then she gives us an exercise to solve it. Why yes. these people who watch us solve it, it's all and we will not have a time Okay, so I think uh, what I will do is I'll speak to Ms. Nandini. Okay, I'll talk to her uh, today is Monday. Tomorrow I'll talk to her. Okay, Tuesday. And I'll figure out that from where she's bringing the worksheets. Okay, which textbook? Because uh, she must have taken the book from the library. Okay, so if I have a copy from the library, I'll take a copy of it, okay, because uh, as far as the research, the papers are concerned, so all those papers, questions are already in this, okay, in the textbook. But if you're talking about the specific worksheet, I'll just speak to her once, okay, and I'll find out the publisher, and then I'll get you the uh, material. Will that work for you, Okay. Okay, I'll just talk to her, because I need to know the publisher. And once I have the publisher, I'll give it to you. That's not a problem. But um, for worksheet, you know, I'll be very honest with you. Over here, how it works is we need to give them three days, so, you know, this work to the team. Okay, I can't expect them today. I give you and you give me tomorrow morning. This is not how things work because everybody has a lot to do. So, what I can do is uh, if I tell them by tomorrow or day after tomorrow, okay. By when I come on Monday with you guys next week, so you'll have all the worksheets with you, whatever sessions we have done. Will that work for you? Okay, ma'am. You never know, get three, four days in hand to work because otherwise it's unfair. Okay, so I'll do that. I'll figure this out. One more. So you'll have it for the session. Thank you. 
it leads to that.
Can you start, guys? Pahi Aditya. I can start any time. I don't have to do anything. But you really need to at least figure out the relationship and all. I mean, that you'll get a grip of those things. I think you're lucky you're doing it twice, you know. At least won't do the same mistakes many times. Rahul, should we start? Yes, ma'am. Okay, Abhima, please share your camera. Stay up. Okay, let's start with Adish today. Adish, question number one: Retreating, advancing. Or well, actually, I don't know. Don't know the meaning, but uh, I eliminated the other options. Okay. So I thought it would be easy. Uh, red, pencil, snowy, maybe okay. Okay. Part C. So it, uh, what Adesh is saying is that he had eliminated the other options in Evangelion C, that's why. And second question, Pahi, with exercise strength. Num option B, practice skill. Practice and skill, okay. Stammer, that is basically talking. Uh, Sneha? One C. Oh, sorry, B. Staggering, that's okay. Stagger walk. Uh, other thing, question of four wheels, four wheels, four wheels. It's okay. Object and a part of the object. Yes, and part Ladder and drum. Yes, okay. Uh, Sathika, question of five. Feathers is two. Feathers is two. Bird, okay. Um, Rahul, question six. Car means of transportation. Means of transportation. Agriba, question number seven. See, reckless is to tear. Reckless, you said? Yes, ma'am. Uh, can you tell me the relationship for uh, Agriba with you? Ma'am, it is similar quant, uh, so the synonyms, uh, but um, you choose it uh, over A, like A can also be, but you choose it because it's a characteristic, and uh, the question was uh, also characteristic. Oh. Question number eight. Question number eight. Option C, ma'am. Okay. Uh, crack, then slash and C. Question number seven, let's go back to question number seven, ma'am. Start, right? Sathika has a doubt. Sathika is saying question number seven, ma'am. D. She's saying why not D? Why C? Ma'am, because uh, uh, differential means respect and obsequious ob means obey. So it's basically when you obey something, you're being respectful. So when you're optimistic, you're not loyal. And when you're strong, you're sturdy. But when you're sturdy, you're not strong. When you're daring, you're reckless. So that's why. Yes, it's like still, 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 uh, of the question number 11, right? Yes. Uh, homonyms are two words having the same similar sound. Okay. So, but you know, uh, what's the right option? Meaning and synonym. Meaning and synonym. Neha, question number 12. Starch potatoes. 
starch potatoes. Okay, question number 30, Rahul. Uh, plate food. Plate food. Okay. Question number 14, Agriva. Bus. Or uh, the chime room. Okay. Question uh, number 15, Pahi. I didn't know the meaning of the first point. Okay. Uh, 15, let's pass it to Sneha. Um, um, no, I also haven't done that. Do you guys have to start religion? Sorry? You have to start religion, right? Yes, ma'am. And you? Yeah, I didn't know the meaning of sign of... Something like that. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So you need and uh, so that's why they say what you need to to apply the laws and all. You understand the relation now? Do you understand the same? Was it clear now? No, ma'am, I didn't hear. No, like this, we need to carry out something. Okay, so that would be the relation over here. So that means they're opting for question 15. That's your A. Mom, um, you could see you practice religion in a synagogue. Synagogue is the Jewish holy yeah. place. So you practice law and court. Yeah. That was yes. So uh, question on page 112, odd man out. Same thing you have to do, you basically um, have to use your logic in uh, finding the odd option. We really need to be quick. We don't need to take homework. Okay, you can just revise at home. You don't need any homework as such. You can pick the odd man out of the options. Let's do it quickly. Question number one. Let's do it together. Rahul, one. Um, Mama, I think. Mm. Sociable, probably. Okay. Yes. Uh, Sneha, question number two. Or oh, you guys need your 5-7 minutes. Am I making it difficult than this?
I'll shall we start discussing? Question one. See, uh, I think it was that time Rahul already answered this. Question number two. Let's have to. Because that's not related to data or solution. Okay. Party, um, question number three. Odd, odd one. Party. I guess option D. I'm not sure. I think it makes money. Question four. Uh, Seha? I'm B. Stupid by. Ma'am, because all the other word means. Uh, Happy, I guess. Deal. Okay. Correct. Dark found. Clavable. Do you think these three means the same? Related to same? A, B, C? Seha? Yes, ma'am. Uh, do you think A, B, C? Look at A, B, C. A, B, C. Do you think they are falling under the same uh, sense? As compared to the happiness which you're talking about? Ma'am, but what's the meaning of uh, the B word? Passionate to do something, passion. Z. Option A. Because equivocal and ambiguous basically mean same thing. Yes. And this concept and is like true or not at all related to it. Uh, this one. Are there question number six? I'm option B. Okay. What made you choose option B? All the others mean passionate. Yes. Question number seven. Say how. Ma'am A. Um, uh, Agrima. Okay, good. Say how. Question number eight. Agrima, happy, glad, and. Um, it ain't because Yeah, it's pretty uh, easy to write it. Yeah. Question number nine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, right, perfect. Question number 10. Um, Aditya? I couldn't figure this out. Okay, I'm trying to see. I don't know what any other forward. Opiates, aluminous, voluminous. Uh, Yes. I think it should be Yes, it should be on Yes, it should be on Yes, it should be Yes, it should be on Yes, it should Okay. Part uh, B. Other Question number 11. In Ross, Salo, Van, and Rahul. Question number 11. Oh, Mama, I wrote A. In Ross. In Ross. Okay. Question number 12, Arish. Metaphor. This is going on when Metaphor. Question number 13. Seha. Mama, I don't know this. Anatomy, anatomy, you can go. Question number 14. Uh, we'll go with the uh, Question number 14. Um, changing. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Question number 15. Rahul. Oh, mom, it's either beatific or oh, venerable. I'm not sure. First, you are definitely not there. Venerable, you need to check the meaning. I think it will go the uh, B1. Check the meaning once. Check the meaning. Yeah. Beatific then. Yeah, it will go beatific then. Question number 16, Aditya. No idea. I have not even heard of any. I know what elucidate means. Uh, it needs to explain clearly, but I other say I don't know. Graceful, right? Yeah. Okay, graceful. So, I'm going to that. That's big, must be. Uh, you arrived, but. Uh, are they seeing all these things you need to cover up? You said you did the exercise. You need to know the meanings of the words, okay? Identify the meanings of the words because these things will be important. Question number 17. Uh, what do you think, Pahi? I guess it's C, but not sure. Scare. It cannot be scared. No, I am okay. I'm sorry. Sorry. I Question number 18. Question number 18. Oh, 18 is bull. All rest three are horse. Yeah. Question number 19. Perfect. Question number 19. Oh, that too, aviator. All three are related to bulls. Yes. Question number 20. So, and what does a Tory door mean? A uh, bull rider. What is the answer? Oh. 
Und hier die selbe Kurve wurde das Vektor von der Statistik wieder. Okay, was ist das? Was ist das? Und ich so, appropriate. Appropriate in das jetzige Buch. Ma'am, it could be anodyne because anodyne means it's it's basically a medicine kind of a thing. It's an ointment. Okay, got it. So, um, what is this? Okay, what is this? Okay, so what is this? Okay, so what is this? Okay, so what is this? Boys and girls, this exercise two and exercise three, you have to do it as homework. Okay, and uh, what I'm thinking is that even though we are doing session nine in the next class, but what I'll do is for this odd question, odd answers we have done, so we'll find out, identify some of the meanings, okay, in the class, and uh, we'll try and uh, learn those, because they were pretty tough, some of them, okay, so we have to have a grip on those things. So 15 minutes we'll spend on this, and the rest we'll do the next set, set that's correct. Does that work for you all? Because we need to do that. Is that just letting go? Okay. So we'll figure it out in such a way that we finish both the things in the next class. Sentence section as well as this. So those things in the next class. That is tomorrow. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bring your doubts and I shall clear those. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am.